YouTube, you have failed this city. <laughs> oh, this thing is so cool! Ah! Hey guys, Rob here, and welcome back to Glidal Tech. Now today I have a very special video for you guys because I am starting work on my Arrow costume. Well, I've actually been working on it for the past few months, past long time, and but now is when I'm officially starting videos coming out with the uh, with all the props and the pieces and the costume parts and everything you need for the costume is I'm putting it all together and you're gonna see it on video for the first time. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I told you last video that I have my video on how I made the season one bow, and that is going to be coming out uh, next time. Next video will be that video. Um, I will have time to edit it this upcoming week, and so I'm very excited about that. You guys will love that video. But today we have two very important props for you guys. Um, number one, we have the mask. Um, I know in season one he doesn't wear the mask, he does the grease paint, but I like the look of the mask, and it's a lot easier for me to put it together. Um, for the costume and everything and so I'm gonna be using the mask so it's kind of cheating it's not a fully accurate season one costume if I want to do the season one look I can always um, smear on some green face paint but this will be a mix between the season one and the season two where I'll be using the season one bow but I'll have the season two look with the mask um, it's only a slight inaccuracy and one I'm willing to live with since it's not a major change it's just a mask gonna be underneath the hood and everything um, and also, speaking of the hood, I have a wonderful hood which I got from a guy off of Etsy. I will link to his page in the description. It is absolutely wonderful, but we'll get to the hood in a minute. Um, right now we have the mask, which is from Tigerstone FX. Um, I will be putting their link in the description as well, but their masks are incredible. I've heard a lot of good things about them, and I'm so excited to see what this one looks like. And what I mean by that is we have a package. I haven't unwrapped it yet because I wanted to do it on video. But Tigerstone Effects, it is great. I ordered this back September 2nd, I believe. Was it September 2nd? No, it was August August 16th I ordered this thing. And I'm so excited. It finally came in. It took a long time. It had a three-week lead time and then two weeks on top of that plus an extra week for just getting everything sorted out. Um, it's awesome. But yeah, so let's get this thing unwrapped. Um, it's just a simple shipping. It came from the UK and so it went, went through a Royal Mail. And so it took a bit to get overseas, but... Uh, like I said, it's worth the wait. And oh, this thing is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, first things first, in the package, there's not much in there. It's just short and sweet, basically. Um, I open up the package, and inside we have their Tigerstone FX card, which is great. We have this uh, little instructions to tell me how to connect the elastic. And thank you for buying sort of thing. All right, here's the provided elastic they have here. And then here is the mask. Okay, this thing is a latex mask. Um, it is designed to fit, I believe, a 23 or 23 and a half inch um, head when the ends are put together and taped with, not taped, glued with the elastic. And if they're a bit shorter, this thing says, um, if your head is smaller than the strap length, shorten the straps to fit your head size. So if my head's shorter than this, I will just have to very carefully cut the edges there and then uh, glue them together, put the elastic on there. Uh, I need to connect the two ends with, su with the supplied elastic um, on the inside of the mask, obviously. <laughs> um, flexible super glue should work just fine, and then I'm done. If I have a high nose bridge, little um, pros aid, I think, I don't know. On the left and right of the nose works wonders to keep the mask down. There's no gap between the mask and your face. All right, um, like I said, the elastic is included. I will be attaching that a little, in a little bit. I won't do it on camera, I'll just show you what the results are, but now we're gonna put the mask on. So let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, this, this feels great. And okay, the mask is a bit short on the edge there. It overlaps just a little bit. Um, if you can see that right there, the edges are kind of overlapping just a bit. And so I might have to, I'll have to trim that just a little bit there, but, oh, this thing feels great. Oh, goodness. Okay, my nose is a bit of a high bridge nose there, so I might have to get, what it says, um, on the left and right of the nose, yeah, some, just a little bit, little, um, little bit to tack that down when I'm wearing it, but that is completely fine, and, oh, this thing is amazing. Okay, just a little bit of backstory about this thing. It, um... They do runs, um, runs for their masks. They do them every, 
Uh, they do it on the 2nd and the 16th of every month, except for when the, around the holidays, end of the year sort of thing. I believe September 2nd was their last run for a, uh, for a few months. Um, and they're gonna, I think they're going to do, either they said they're going to do one before Halloween and then one before Christmas. Uh, or maybe it was just one around Halloween time. I forget. Um, it's all the information on their website. Other than that, they do two runs a month, like I said, the 2nd and the 16th. Um, and that's for their face masks. And so if you want these face masks, you have to um, go to their go to the shop on those days and get the face mask there from the run before they um, they sell out. Um, I'd recommend signing up for their mailing list is what I've done. And so every every month I'll get information about um, their runs, what's going on, new products they offer. And then on the uh, 2nd and the 16th, I'll get an email when their runs are live saying, hey, our masks are live in our shop. If you want one, go get them. And so that's what I did on... August 16th to get this thing and oh look at this if you look you see the, those panel lines there on the edges and on the uh on the center they got those arrows um the arrow symbol there and uh this thing is just the quality on this thing is phenomenal and like I said it's made out of latex and so it just wrapping around my face that thing is this thing is so comfortable oh goodness I look around in it and I, it is, it's very much, it's very much like, it doesn't, I can feel it on there, but when I'm looking through it, it doesn't feel like there's anything blocking my vision. I mean, yeah, if I look kind of off to the sides, I can see the edges here and the tops and bottoms, but for the most part, I have a full range of vision on this thing. <laughs> Oops. And, oh, I can see everything. This is so cool. I love this thing. This is just, okay, I keep saying this, but it's true. This is a phenomenal mask. Oh, I I love it. I cannot wait to get it all put together, which I'll be doing in just a moment. But, oh, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love this thing. So, yeah, thank you so much to Tigerstone FX. Um, I love the mask. Um, thank you so much for helping me out with this thing. This is phenomenal. Um, this thing cost me, uh, with shipping, it was $73, $74, something like that. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's up there, but for the quality that I got with this thing, oh, this, that is, that's a steal is what I think it is. Oh my goodness. I, w I was really hoping that when I got this, it wouldn't be some sort of like crappy mask that, um, was just made out of, um. That, you, that anyone can make for like a couple bucks. Um, I had heard reviews about these things, so I, I was pretty sure it wasn't going to be like that. But uh, holding this in my hands and you know putting it on my face, this thing is this is more than I could have ever hoped for. This thing is just oh, I'm saying it a lot. This thing is phenomenal. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna get to um, whoops. I'm going to get to um, gluing this together, and I'll be back with another clip in just a moment. Oh, this is great. All right, there we go. Look at this thing. Oh, this thing is, <laughs> I keep saying it. This is phenomenal, I love it. All right, look, I took it off, it's, I glued the ends together. I had to trim just a little bit off of each side. Um, say just a bit. Basically what I did is I took the edges here and I kind of overlap and I put them on the back of my head and I overlapped it. And so if I took it and these are the back edges and I, Pull it as pull it pretty tight to where it's comfortable on my face, but not like too tight. I overlap it a bit like so, and then I took a pen and I marked the edges on the uh, on either side. And I unfolded and I cut along those lines, and then I held the edges together and I put it on the back of my head to see, making sure it lined up and great, and, and it was good. So then I laid it flat and I put the uh, put the elastic on it, and it pulls apart just slightly, but it's enough to. Uh, enough to get it around my head and it doesn't pull too much which is good so like this and just sits on there I do have to do a bit of adjusting to it but I like it I think it's great oh goodness like I said I said that a lot I did try putting it a bit behind my ears um, but the ears kind of folded down a bit, which I mean, it'll get covered up by the, uh, by the hood, I guess, but, but yeah, I mean, however you want to wear it. I, I realize that if, when I'm kind of doing this, I might, I am going to have to look into some of that, um, 
tacky, whatever it is. And they said it was uh, the uh, Prosade or something like that. Prosade. I was to kind of tack it down on the sides there. Um, I did notice that when I moved my eyebrows with the thing on, well, I mean, it's not doing it much there. I might put it on behind the ears. But when it's in like on top of the ears and I move my eyebrows, it kind of kind of does a j move a little bit. Well, it's not doing it now, so right as it's on camera, I'm guessing. <laughs> so we have that there. That's cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, there's that. And I guess um, there's the mask. All right, now I guess this is a good time to show you guys the hood. Um, here it is. This is a phenomenal hood. It is. It is as accurate as you can get to the TV show, as far as I'm concerned. I have never seen a hood more accurate. This thing is, oh, this thing is phenomenal. Uh, it's by a guy on Etsy called uh, Pleats and Thanks Art. Um, I will link his shop in the description. This thing is, oh, this thing is just, I, I use this word a lot, you'll find. This thing is phenomenal. It's just amazing. Um, the, the patch on the side there, the hood, if you see in my old video, is the patch is huge. Um, this one is a lot smaller and a lot more accurate to what the what the show is. Um, it's got the uh, correct trim on the back of the hood there. Um, the uh, the chest portion is oh uh, this is this is just completely wonderful. I I've never seen a hood that look better, um, and it's really comfortable too. It's it's double layered to give it um, a thicker thicker feel so it kind of drapes around your head properly. But it's um, it also makes it a lot more comfortable. The last hood I had was only single layered and this thing is so much more comfortable than that. But I mean, look at this. This just, this is just awesome. I mean, this looks like the Green Arrow hood. This looks like the hood from Arrow season one or season two, season three, whatever. This thing is, this thing is amazing. It's really comfortable to wear. I feel like the Green Arrow. I feel like green, the Green Arrow wearing this. And I can just, and I, I look like the Green Arrow. I really love it. It's, it's amazing. And then uh, paired with the mask, which I just did this a couple minutes ago myself. Um, paired with the mask, this thing is awesome. So I got the, I got the mask on and throw the hood on and I look like the green arrow. I love the hood. I've had it for a couple weeks now and I've just, I love wearing it. Um, I love the mask. I just got that in. You saw that, but I mean, oh, pairing them together, this thing, I, I feel like the green arrow. I feel, I feel awesome. I feel amazing. Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh goodness, um, I'm sorry, I'm geeking out over here, but this thing is amazing. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, please, everyone, if you're if you if you like the way these look and you um, want to get one yourself, go check out these links in the description. Tiger Stone Effects. Um, once again, thank you for the amazing mask. I absolutely love it. It it looks phenomenal. It was so easy to put together to um, trim it up to the size I needed it to be. Um, to glue the elastic on, I just used a, um, a simple glue uh, Loctite. Um, I've used it for a lot of things. Um, and I got it at Walmart for like five bucks. Um, I love it. It's, it's great. Um, and it worked really well. Just put a couple drops on the, each side underneath the elastic um, on the, onto the latex and just um, pushed it down. And that was, that was just great. It worked out amazingly. It was great. Um, but so this was really simple to throw together. I absolutely love um, how easy it was and how, uh, I'm gonna take this off. I absolutely love how easy it was to put together and how comfortable it feels. Um, so I love the mask. Please take a look at Tiger Stone Effects. They've got wonderful stuff. Um, if this mask is any indication. Um, so please check them out. I know you will not be dissatisfied. Um, and then the hood as well. Check out, um, Pleats and Thanks Art on Etsy. Um, once again, like I said, the link to his, um, this hood will be in the description and you can find a shop off of that. Um, but yeah, please check it out. This is a phenomenal hood. If you are looking to put together an arrow costume, I highly recommend this hood and this mask. I highly recommend both of them. Um, this is, I'll put it this way. 
I won't, I will never, if I ever make another costume or if I ever need another mask or another hood, I will never go to any place else. I will always use Tiger Stone Effects for the Green Arrow mask. And I, if I ever need one of these things replaced, which this is built really well, it's really sturdy. I think it'll last me a long time. But if I ever need another hood, I will go directly to this guy. Um, I, I have never seen any other mask or hood look, look any better. Um, I highly recommend them. If you want to build a costume, check it out. Um, yeah, man, like I've been saying all, all, uh, all video, it's phenomenal. I, I love it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please leave a like. And I mean, hey, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe because um, I always appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I've got more videos upcoming. Like I said, next video is going to be the Arrow um, Season 1 bow build. I think you guys are going to enjoy that one. Um, but I have a couple of other things planned, but I still have a lot of videos I'm going to be doing. Um, and so if you have any suggestions of what videos I should do in the future, please leave a comment down below and I will read through them. And if I like your suggestion, I will look into it and start um, budgeting for it and planning for it. And I will make that eventually. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.